You're such a good boy, Crimson. Hi, my name's Serafina Delirium, and this is Crimson Ghost, and he's going to be in a few more of my videos from more from from here on out. So hopefully you like snakes, and if you don't, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but maybe you'll warm up to him too. <clears throat> so today I've decided to go ahead with this earrings collection. I did it once before, but it was outside, and finally I have my own little studio here in the corner of my bedroom, my little office, and I can set up and spread out and do my little, my video montages, and um, so today I'm going to do my earrings collection again, plus my gauges and plugs collection in two different tackle boxes. So I have my first tackle box, which you saw in the thumbnail, but I also have a second tackle box full of plugs. Um, so let me show you that one really quickly without dropping the earrings. So here are all the earrings and I'm wearing these vintage, these um, earrings from a vintage chandelier that was my grandmother and grandfather's. They broke off and I made earrings out of them because I love making earrings out of old stuff and upcycling it, recycling it. So these are all of my gauges, body jewelry. I actually need to put some things away. There's body jewelry kind of spread out all over the house and the bathroom and stuff. But my favorites are probably these, but they're too big for my ears because I've gone down a size. Um, and I love these, but they're too small for my ears because they've gone up a size. And then I love these, but one of them's broken. So, anyway, we're gonna get into the, you know what? Why don't we just go into the tackle box first? I have, what, 21 minutes? Yeah. All right, so in the tackle box, I have, <laughs> this is nipple jewelry. It's actually, there's snake barbells, and I have two of them, and they're nipple ring jewelry. I'm just gonna show you one of each pair. I mean, I, I guess I could call you two. I could show you two. There's just some junk in here though. So there's both of the snake barbells. I can't remember where I got those or like, I know I got them in like 2011. There's a whole bunch of like post earrings in here I never use. They're just junky and old. Some of them need to be thrown away. There's a couple of skulls in here. That one's pretty cool. But I don't wear post earrings anymore really. And then I have a whole bunch of like different sizes of these, which are cool. I like them, but I think most of these are too big for my ear holes. I have a whole pile of industrials, just a whole bunch of industrials in different sizes. Um, but I, I used to have an industrial, um, but it was hard to sleep on at night. I have to sleep on the other side. And I like to sleep on the side that was in, it was in this side of my ear. And what I actually did was, I had it from this side, but then I actually had one on the top going down, and it was across. My mom hated it. I did it when I was like 13, no, 16, I don't know how old I was, I was young. So there's a bunch of like nose rings in here, like twisty ones. Oh, I like the yin yang. I can't get it though. I used to have my nose pierced, I had my septum in. Um, I had snake bites, or would you call them spider bites? I called them snake bites. And I've never had this done, but I did have the bottom one done a little bit of time in my life, but I let it grow back. I have had my eyebrow pierced, so I still have the scar up here. So, um, here's the barbell from that. I have a lot of eyebrow rings, but my favorite is a scold one because I wasn't allergic. And when I pierced my belly button when I was like 12 or 13, I did all my piercings myself, by the way. I should get a license. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it by now. I am my own canvas after all. Um... So I can only wear gold on my belly button. It got infected so much and I learned that this is the only one I can wear. But the problem is, um, the whole, I wasn't a professional obviously at the time when I did it. So the hole was like closer to the edge than it should be. So I need a smaller barbell. So I have a bunch of tapers. They're really cool and blue. I love this. Very neat. And then I have a whole bunch of white ones. White tapers. There's a whole bunch of plugs in here. Like here's my cool pentagram plugs. Um, there's another one. I love my pearls. These are one of my favorites, my pearl plugs. These are too big for my ears, but I love these galaxy plugs. I thought I'd go up a size, but I didn't. And then I have a moon. I have a matching sun that goes with it. If I can find it in here somewhere. There's the sun. Found the sun. Yay. 
And then I have some turquoise ones, but I only have one left because the rest, like the turquoise part broke off. But these have been my favorite go-tos forever. And I'm actually wearing them on my ear right now, but they're backwards because the turquoise just fell out of them. And I actually fell out of them in one video and I didn't notice until like the end of the video. And I was like, oh, well, I'm happy my viewers will notice. <laughs> I have the same jewelry I've been wearing for like 15 years because jewelry is expensive. Um, Obviously, I have plenty of it, right? I don't need any more. So there's some junk in here. There's some tongue rings. I have my tongue pierced. It's never going to grow back, but there, there is a hole in it. You probably can't see it. But. Ah. Ah. Well, dropped it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Now you can see my tongue's pierced. Never gonna grow back. Ever, ever, ever. I actually had a 10 gauge in it at one time. I was a weirdo. It was like, I have a small tongue. Like, I could stretch it out. But, um, the jewelry is so long that it was hard to do anything. So. Okay, and then I have lip labrets. And I have a whole bunch of belly button rings. Like, the kind that make your belly button get infected. Here's a bat one that I loved. I've had a bunch of these for a long time. I like this one a lot, but I couldn't wear it. It would get me infected. Um, I have a Spider-Man themed one. This one's cool, but it, you can see all the paint came off of it. So those are some of my random belly button rings. And then I have like clear jewelry. I had some um, glass, what do you call these things? You put it in your nose and it's like clear and you can go to work with it in. I can't pull it out. It doesn't matter. You probably know what I'm talking about. A retainer. That's what it is. A retainer. And then I have these. I absolutely love these. The pink glitter is like the same thing like that my makeup brushes resemble. It's probably why I got these makeup brushes because I love this pink glitter. So I have pink glitter everywhere. And I got a whole like set of the pink glitter collection your ears so I have a whole bunch of them that I've never even used and I don't need so if anybody wants some pink glitter that's like smaller sizes I have them all new in the bag I just don't need them I could put those in my giveaway and then obviously my favorites so that's the bulk of my body jewelry and then there's stuff I need to put away and I just have it <clears throat> oh like these for example I've been wearing these a lot. These are the ones that fit right now, and I need to put those back in the um, tackle box. So let's get into earrings. This, this is the fun part of the video. We got into the gauges and plugs because that's a quick one. But this is the fun part, all right? So I'm just going to put the tackle box down and show you, like, a pair of earrings at a time. And I'm going to go through all of them. I'm going to pick, like, a few. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to pick the most of them, um, but not all. So, disclaimer, I may not show you all the earrings, but here's a pair of, like, little black spider earrings. Aren't those cute? I can't wear them because I don't wear post earrings. Um, and fun fact about that, I used to have every single <laughs> space in my ear had an earring in it. Every one. I, I would just pierce them. I was just, like, it was my way of stress. I would pierce. I didn't, I wasn't a cutter. I was a piercer um, in my um, teenager days, so I pierced myself a lot. Oh, what you doing, Crimson? Are you being a good boy? I should probably put him back in his tank in a minute. He's probably confused and wondering why he's not getting dinner. I mean, lunch. Um, but yeah, so, um, they've all grown back. The holes in my ears have all grown back. And it was just too many earrings. It was too much weight. I didn't want to, like, have these horrible scars. I do have scars in my ears. They look better than they used to. Um, so I was not a professional. But I don't wear post earrings anymore because I have gauges in these. And then I would have a second one behind it, but it just isn't comfortable. And I think I'm allergic to everything. So I have to be really careful about what I put in my ears. But I love these. These are post earrings. I think I would take the post off and put them on the top of a plug. And then I could put them on my ears like that. Here's another crystal that goes with these earrings from those chandeliers. And I think I'm going to take these out so they don't hurt my snakey. Because I think I'm probably not meaning to wave them around, but I think I might be waving them around. Oh, there's a ring in here. I could probably send it to my daughter, Amy. To 
need that. Might send that to her. Cute little panda bear. And here's some more post earrings. I love that they're kind of like a Chanel look, but as I said, I can't wear them anymore. I have these Batman post earrings. They're very cute, but I don't wear them either. And then I have these drum kits. My, my dad got them for me and he said they were a drum set. And I think a diamond or not, a, you know, a gem fell out of one of them, but he said it was like the bass drum, snare drum, you know, all those other little drums in there because he was a drummer. But I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put the earrings in this little box. And Krimi, do you want me to put you back in your tank? Yeah, I'll go put you back in your tanky. Okay, come here. No, no, no. Come here, shoe. Ooh, Krimi, Krimi, Krimi. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put, put Krimi in his tank. Hello again, it's me. All right, so I put Crimson back in his tank so he'll be more comfortable, and I will feed him after this video. Um, so we're on to the next section and I actually made these out of, I think they were like <laughs> army dolls or GI Joes, but they're the plastic guns from them and they're AK-47s or whatever you want to call them, but I made earrings out of them. <laughs> so these are doll accessories and they're earrings now. So um, yeah, they're fun. I don't wear them often. And I have these Eiffel Tower earrings from Claire's. That I I wish I had my sea turtle earrings because my sea turtle earrings were posts but dangles like this and they were gold sea turtles so I'm looking for like a pair of gold sea turtle earrings like this but they dangle but I have like three pairs of um, sea turtle earrings so I really don't need them I don't know what to do with those Apple Tower earrings I don't know if I should like give them to one of my kids or I don't know like my daughters I don't know what to do all right so there's some skull earrings. There's some hoops. What's this? More skull earrings. Okay, here's some fun ones. Oh, there's just one. So this is a one that I got from Hot Topic when I was probably 11 or 12, 13 years old. And the other one's gone because they're lightweight and you can't tell when you've lost it. It just kind of falls out of your ear. So I made I made a matching one as best I could out of another broken broken something. So I made it a matching earring. So it was, I mean, at that time I liked mismatched earrings anyway, so I just ran with it. But it was really sad because these were expensive, so if I could find another set like this, I would totally get them. And these are also Hot Topic, but I think they're like Alice in Wonderland themes. Hold on, I'm going to show you. Um, there's like... Clover, and then there's the Queen of Hearts. Now, I was never an Alice in Wonderland fan. I hated it. There was a childhood play that I was in, and I was the Three of Hearts, so it was a freaking card. And I was bullied so bad that year that it made me hate the story entirely. It was like these Fine Arts and Rockbridge kids, and they were so snotty, because it was like the city of Lexington. Because Lexington kids in Virginia are so snotty and hateful. And... I'm not gonna tell you that story because my kids might watch this video and it was just really bad. It was really bad what my sister and her friend said to me. So I have no interest in Alice in Wonderland whatsoever because of basically my sister and her friend and the bullying. So I have this pair. I got this I got a pair of earrings at Spencer's when I was like 13 or 14 and it had the red gem in it and I recently, I mean I lost one of them, you know, as as kids tend to do because you wear things a lot. These were my favorite pair of earrings. I loved spiders. And this is where I got the inspiration for my tattoo, which was one of my first tattoos was a spider. $55 for that tattoo, man. So I lost one of these, had the red gem, and I recently ordered another pair of earrings just like these from Walmart for like eight bucks and they might be in the mailbox I haven't checked it yet but I finally ordered these earrings from Walmart and I'm very excited but here's the um kind of a match to it it matches it pretty well but this earring can also go with um this also met uh lost its mate so these are all earrings that lost their mate and they can kind of go together if you want to put them together, they can. And you can even wear like three earrings and like have a, a have a third one up here. 
You know what I mean? Like you can have, so you can really do whatever you want. Earrings are a form of creative expression as all kinds of, all, all body art and stuff is. So one of my next pairs, these are recent. I got these at Walmart. These are bats. A couple, just a couple dollars at Walmart. They're so cute. I wear them all the time. Definitely a spooky season accessory. Love those earrings. And then I have these hoops that I don't wear very often. I don't wear these hoops very much. And they have stuff on them. Okay. So there's a pair of hoops. Hoopla! Hoopla! I've been getting a bunch of SpongeBob videos in my recommendations, so now I'm thinking of Hoopla. I don't watch SpongeBob anymore. I think it's very inappropriate for kids and it's really gory. Uh, when I was a kid, I watched it, but I was like a fifth grader at the time. So it was, I guess I was a different person then, you know, fifth grade. And now I'm 28 years old, almost 29. So these are my New Year's earrings and I never wear them. I always forget to wear them for New Year's because I never go out. I don't party. I'm a homebody. But if I did go out or I had a, I hosted a party at home, a dinner party or something, I would definitely wear these earrings. These are my New Year's tradition earrings. Girlfriend. They always will be. And these are like from forever ago, from my early childhood. They're like these really cool hoops with like chain, rainbow chains on them. They're very neat. Love them. Very cool. I like to wear these with my hoop sometimes. And then I can also wear them with another pair of earrings. Whoa, I forgot the plastic. All right, so I have those and I have those that I made. Do those look funny. I'm actually ending up, I'm showing you all my earrings after all. And I think if I run out of time, I'll just make a part two on my other phone. <laughs> So I'm at 16 minutes and then I have probably four more minutes left so I'll make a part two okay so here's a pair that I made myself I don't really like them much but I made them myself and I like pearls I do like the Chanel look it's very classy now these came with the pearl gauges that I showed you earlier and they were hanging with like dangle plugs and I took these off and I made earrings out of them like separate earrings out of them so I don't really like them all a lot either but they look really pretty with any pair of plugs that I want to wear. I can wear them with any pair of plugs, literally. Very classy. And then I made these myself. And they remind me of like a birdcage, but like a hanging ball. You can't see them because of my Halloween nails. Sorry. Um, so I don't know. But they're, they look like a, a birdcage or maybe a tea ball. And they're very classy in my opinion as well. I like those. And now we're getting to... Okay, my snake earrings that I was wearing in my um, channel trailer video when I had crimson in it. I got these for like a couple, I think they were $2. Uh, they're like this weird Chinese company like, you know, Alexia Express or whatever. What is that site that Brian orders things for his daughter on? I don't know. Um, I can't remember it right now. <laughs> but um, these remind me of that. And they're just not very well made, but they're very cute. So they're not going to last me long. They're probably going to rust, but I love them because they're snakes. So, and I got these. These are from Walmart. No, these are from Amazon. And you can see that they're like a little bit different. Like one is thicker than the other. I prefer the thinner one because you can see the details better. But I love Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. It's my favorite holiday. It's actually not Halloween, it's Day of the Dead. So I'm more into skeletons and Caterinas, which is the female, like the bride, that goes with the groom. And I can't remember the groom's name. So I love all stuff like that, spooky stuff. And I actually have a pair of earrings that match those. They're crosses. And see, it's a Catholic holiday in its own way, Dia de los Muertos. So these are not sacrilegious. These are very much appropriate for Day of the Dead. Um, so I think I think these would be really wonderful in this video. So I think I'll wear these for the remainder of this video. If that is alright with you folks. And I just have a couple minutes left. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is make a part two on my other phone. My new phone. This is my old phone. And so I'm kind of using it. I'm still using it because it still functions. So this is my Day of the Dead earrings. Here's my Jack Skellington necklace. And here's my Do What Meow Wilt Killstar shirt that I absolutely love. So it's Killstar at the bottom. I love Killstar. Can't afford it most of the time because it's so daggone expensive, but love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's do like one pair of earrings, one more pair of earrings. I think these would be like a good Day of the Dead 
steam too if you wanted. They're very pretty, very classic as well. I love those black roses. They're on like this seashell um, or mother of pearl. I love that. I had these cross earrings that were mother of pearl and I think they broke or got lost or something. So I've been trying to replace them. No, it was a necklace, but these are beautiful. I love these. Um, so these are very classy and I, I save these as well. So I just, I love earrings. Earrings are my thing and I need to wear them more often. So anyway, this is going to be part one of my earrings collection and gauges and plugs. So I showed you my gauges and plugs, got that out of the way. So now we're just getting through my earrings collection. So I'll do part two in a minute. So make sure you check that out. I will link it in the comments below when it uploads. And um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more because there's more coming your way. And I hope you have a wonderful day and a terrific spooky season. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.